Honda is cooking up something new in their garage. What if we told you that Honda is developing an engine that could shake up the entire EV industry? Yeah, that's right. Honda has been working on a brand new hydrogen engine, which can practically give twice the range and could charge up to 20 times faster than an EV. While companies like Tesla and Ford have been fighting over the EV throne, Honda is taking a different route and might leave everybody behind. But is this new engine really as good as Honda thinks? Don't go anywhere as we will be revealing Honda's brand new hydrogen powered vehicle and explain how this hydrogen engine works. Let's dive in. Now, we all know how Mother Earth has been crying for help to fix the damage caused by pollution. Cars alone are responsible for nearly 60% greenhouse emissions out of all vehicle classes. According to CBO.gov, transportation is the biggest source of greenhouse gas emissions in the States. To fight this, car brands came up with the marvelous idea of EVs, and to an extent, they did help cut emissions. But this isn't the only solution. Enter Honda's hydrogen combustion engine. Complementing their diverse carbon neutrality approach, this engine is truly a science marvel. Let me explain how. Look, EVs aren't that bad. Think of all the time you'll save not going to the gas station, which you can then spend at the charging station. But the process of making those big old batteries isn't exactly as green as we'd like to think. You see, sourcing materials like nickel and lithium for EV batteries can be pretty darn energy intensive and cause some serious emissions. Plus, let's not forget about the environmental and social impacts of mining these materials. It's like making a delicious cake, but in order to get the ingredients, you need to knock down a forest and displace some adorable woodland creatures. Bummer, right? So how about we consider a different recipe? one that uses the most abundant element in the universe, hydrogen. Honda's new engine only produces water as a byproduct, offers a gigantic 500 plus mile range without any batteries, and can be refueled in minutes. On top of this, hydrogen is also non-toxic, can be made easily, stored indefinitely, and shipped relatively easily. Hydrogen is already being used in forklifts, ships, and now even trains. But how will this fit into a vehicle, and how exactly does this work? It's just science, but definitely feels like magic. Picture a hydrogen combustion engine that uses hydrogen gas as its primary fuel, rather than traditional gasoline. When the engine roars to life, hydrogen gas is supplied from a high-pressure tank to the engine's combustion chamber. Here, it mingles with air to create a delightful hydrogen-air mixture. As the engine's pistons compress this mixture, a spark plug provides a tiny yet powerful spark, igniting the compressed hydrogen-air blend. This controlled explosion generates a high-pressure gas that pushes the pistons down, turning the engine's crankshaft and ultimately powering the vehicle's wheels. And the best part of this tale, the combustion process leaves nothing but water vapor as its byproduct, which is harmlessly released through the exhaust pipe as steam. So with the help of hydrogen, our friendly combustion engine not only keeps the wheels turning, but also helps protect the environment. Honda has recently announced that its battery electric vehicles and fuel cell electric vehicles will account for 100% of its sales by 2040. To meet these goals, Honda has joined hands with General Motors. They have set up a fuel cell system manufacturing center in Michigan, presenting the all-new hydrogen-powered CRV. This next-gen, eco-friendly SUV, building on the legacy of the Clarity fuel cell, will feature two H2 tanks in the rear, an intelligent power unit neatly tucked under the seats, and a fuel cell system and drive unit combined under the hood. Co-developed with GM, this cutting-edge fuel cell system is set to be more durable, cost-effective, and efficient than its predecessor. With a plug-in capability and a power export function, this CRV is all about versatility. Although details are still scarce, we do know that production will kick off in Ohio in 2024 and that the hydrogen CRV will be available in North America and Japan. The Japanese giant also collaborated with Sony to make a fully electric vehicle with PlayStation 5-like functionality. But Honda is not the only brand that's doing this. This isn't the first time that a car maker is experimenting with hydrogen, though. In fact, a few other car makers have dipped their toes into these hydrogen-filled waters before. Let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? German automaker BMW was one of the early birds, introducing the 750HL back in 2002 and later the Hydrogen 7 in 2005. This hydrogen-powered beast was based on a gasoline-powered 6-liter V12, but with a twist, it could burn both hydrogen and gasoline. Talk about a dual-fuel engine, right? 
And to add some extra coolness, only 100 of these bad boys were ever made. Brands like Toyota are also incentivizing the use of hydrogen as a fuel by offering up to $15,000 worth of fuel with their H2 vehicles like the Mirai. However, there's also a downside to this story, something which kept hydrogen from becoming the fuel we once reimagined it to become. Honda Clarity, the state-of-the-art vehicle launched in the 2015 Tokyo Motor Show, was Honda's first shot at such an engine. This baby was the first hydrogen fuel cell sedan, with its entire fuel cell stack and drivetrain system exactly where a gas vehicle's engine and transmission usually are. This meant that the Clarity FCV had a roomy cabin, comfortably seating five people. Honda decked out the Clarity FCV with its most advanced tech, ensuring top-notch fuel cell stack performance. I'm talking Honda's original wave flow channel separators, narrower fuel cells, and a 20% reduction in each cell's thickness. This allowed for a 33% more compact fuel cell stack compared to the original FCX Clarity. But by its final year in production, the 2021 Honda Clarity FCV boasted a driving range of 360 miles. But alas, all good things must come to an end. Just five years after its debut, Honda pulled the plug on the Clarity FCV, citing low market demand, a lack of hydrogen fuel stations, weak market reception, and insufficient government subsidies. Natalie Kumaratni, a Honda spokesperson, told USA Today, We are placing more of our focus on the next generation of electrified products that are coming down the pipeline. Furthermore, hydrogen is, well, highly flammable, so you'd better not be playing with matches around these cars. Plus, processing and storing hydrogen can be a real pain in the trunk. And we can't ignore the nitrous oxide emissions during combustion. Sure, it's not as bad as carbon monoxide, but the EPA still gives it a big thumbs down. But wait, there's a twist. Despite Clarity's failure, there are companies which are highly bent on making hydrogen a viable fuel alternative for us. Meet Talman Marco, who sold $2 billion startups to work on his company H2 Pro. Despite all the promising benefits of hydrogen fuel cell tech, EV batteries are still more efficient. In order to make hydrogen, H2O is first electrolyzed, compressed, transported, and then stored in fuel cells for reverse electrolysis to later be used as fuel. This is nearly half as efficient as EVs. Not to mention, this hydrogen fuel is also quite costly, currently going for about $4 to $8 per kilo, while the target should be around $1. H2 Pro has used a fancy engineering trick to make this process more efficient and also cheaper. They separate the oxygen from water with heat instead. We have the oxygen being released just by raising the temperature. So we are releasing the oxygen without uh, applying any power. This is the reason why we can be so much uh, more efficient. The company anticipates that customers will be able to get hydrogen at nearly $1 to $2 by the end of 2025. The government is partnering with more such companies to find a viable way to pull this off. If Honda wants to make a comeback, they'll have to offer all they've got. After all, the competition is pretty stiff now. The Toyota Mirai, for starters, now has a range of over 350 miles, and Tesla and Ford are going strong in the EV market. Their best bet is an SUV with an excellent city range and a sub $50,000 price bracket, which is exactly the plan with their upcoming vehicles. Do you think Honda will be able to bring about this giant change in the car industry? What are your thoughts on hydrogen as a fuel instead of EVs? Let us know down in those comments below. And hey, while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and please hit the thumbs up if you found this video helpful.